It is the 15th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to begin um, by saying uh, there are a lot of videos out on El Hierro. Uh, I know we've all been calling it El Hero, but I was corrected a couple of videos back. I just want to make it a point. It's El Yaro or uh, Yaro. Um, apparently, the, the locals are either bugging out or um, stocking up. And, of course, the government says there's nothing to be big panicked about, and the earthquakes continue. Uh, videos showing, you know, lava and... Uh, or the, the water bursting out of the water and now it's just about ready to peak and a lot going on in El Hero or El Yaro. Um, so over to earthchangessot.net uh, we got a 5.2 aftershock again in Turkey and on top of the snow and these people are being scared to be in their houses and they're having extreme weather to boot. Uh, split jet stream brings severe weather to the United States I'm um, just saying uh, La Nina they're blaming it on La Nina and with this weather patterns um, it's due to bring us here uh, severe weather in the United States Hawaii's uh, Kilauea volcano lake sinks spurring quakes eight small earthquakes rocked Kilauea volcano after the lava lake at the summit caldera dropped in elevation Sunday US geologists reported uh, so definitely an ongoing um, since I can remember Volcano, um, but, uh, did fracking cause Oklahoma's largest record earthquake? And this is almost like a, uh, a repeat of a story they did last week. Probably not, as the gas drilling practices tends to be associated with minor quakes, not big ones, seismologist says. But they just put out a report saying the, Ar the Army and the U.S. Geology Service, um, definitely confirm that fracking causes earthquakes. So, hydraulic fracturing, mining of uh, natural gas. Congo, Mount, I'm not going to mispronounce it. Uh, they're tourist invited to see eruption. A national park in Congo, best known for its endangered mountain gorillas, is now inviting tourists to go on an overnight trek to see the volcano spurting fountains of lava nearly a thousand feet into the air. Um... The volcano began erupting on November 6th and could continue to do for days or even months. Last night was the most spectacular yet. It's a very active volcano uh, in the Congo. Uh, it's been ongoing, I think it, yeah, for, for a while now. It erupted last year too. Uh, the, the sperm whales that, that uh, beach themselves in um, Tasmanian on the Tasmanian beach, uh, 22 sperm whales die in Australia. Uh, 6.3 earthquake in the, the Maluka Sea, and that's on the Ring of Fire. And over to the extinction protocol. And what they have new is magma plume activity eruptions in Canary Islands, Azores shaken by 4.7 earthquake. And again, this is El Yaro. And of course, there are all kinds of videos. I will attach three, four videos for you, no problem. Radioactive Russian satellite could plunge to Earth in September. Now, this is that, that damn Russian probe that I, I did that video on about. It's climbing, it's climbing. Moscow, as Russian engineers battle to regain control of ailing Mars probe, Stuck in Earth's orbit, chances of salvaging the spacecraft's ambitious mission appear to be dwindling. According to Russian news reports, attempts to contact the beleaguered Photos Grunt spacecraft overnight Thursday have failed, and the spacecraft could fall back to Earth around December 3rd. Russian space industry spokesman told the country's uh, RIA news service the spacecraft repeatedly passed over. Uh, the Baknor station and other Russian and foreign points of space communications during the night. There was no news yet. And apparently, I heard stories like they couldn't get the antennas up or um, something like that. And of course, there's all the conspiracy theories going on with this. But what they're saying, it's due to hit um, a, around the third. And if it hits in the ocean, it's not so bad. But if it hits on land, some of this fuel may not um, 
be completely burned up in reentry and could cause serious health and side effects uh, to whoever and whenever it hits. Former British PM Tony Blair warns of catastrophe if Eurozone collapses. They're pulling out Tony Blair. <laughs> the dominoes fall, all according to plan. And, um, over to Ice Age now. Now they've got a story. Only 20% of U Ukraine, the Ukraine winter grain crops to survive the winter. Uh, Mount Rainier is to get 85 to 109 inches. That's 215 to 276 centimeters of snow in the next three days. Mount Rainier normally gets 85 inches of snow in the entire month of November. Looks like it get more in just three days. They got a big storm rolling through, and I imagine that's the one that came out of Alaska, rolled through Canada. Uh, here it comes. Uh, normal winter stuff. Uh, but just a big, huge, severe storm. We got I-90 I closed. And uh, snow, snow quality pass snowing one inch per hour. Uh, this is in the Seattle, Washington area. At noon today, KOML Radio in Seattle announced the I-90 closed. And up to three feet of snow for Wyoming. And over to the RSOE today. Let's see what we got going. Uh, you have forest fires going on in Kentucky and Alabama. They're saying due to the, the continuing drought situations, we had some heavy winds. And uh, apparently the ones in Kentucky uh, were set by arson. And, uh, of course, that just makes the problem worse. So i uh, got a lot of wildfires going on, high winds, and it's a very dry, dry uh, area right now. So be advised if you're in the area, you got some big forest fires happening, people setting fires. And again, uh, big snow coming through state of Colorado, extreme weather. Uh, they got a heat wave at report in Ireland this time. I know I said it was in England yesterday, and I had one guy comment said he was in, in England and it was cold. But uh, they keep the reports I'm getting here on the RSOE saying mild weather, mild weather, or unseasonably warm. Uh, what else? Oh, we got some extreme weather in New Zealand. Uh, severe wind, thunderstorms, lightning, and they're saying it hailed so bad it looked like snow on the ground, and of course damage and stuff. Um, so I'd be advised if it hails that bad, being a Midwestern in the United States, uh, look up. Sometimes those clouds do this. If they're getting that bad, and I know you've had tornadoes in the past. And uh, of course the volcanic activity and, and San, Santorini volcano off the, off the coast of Greece on one of the islands and that's one of the biggest eruptions uh, within the last few thousand years <clears throat> so uh, another thing to definitely look out for and finally f for the nuclear stuff uh, the RSOE was reporting that uh, they still not quite sure uh, where it's going they found some more over the Czech airspace um, so th again they don't know where it's coming from but uh, it's there. Over to enenews.com. Uh, we got a Yomiria reporter. I felt ill from the heat and fatigue after Fukushima tour. His dosimeter read 75 microsieverts, and he was inside the bus in a full suit. Okay, I got a clip from Nuclear Engineer. All three Fukushima's reactors had enormous amounts of plutonium inside before melting down. Plutonium inside, because he's basically saying uh, what happens to the, the uranium fuel rods after they sit in these nuclear reactors long enough, they turn into plutonium. And that's the byproduct. That's the very high toxic. Only man makes this. So that pretty much guarantees that every single reactor in the in operation has plutonium in it. So meltdown becomes that much more of a risk factor. <clears throat> we have a fire in a uh, reactor containment at a Swedish new plant blamed on vacuum cleaner. Over $250 million in losses. 
TEPCO president apologizes for uh, accident at Fukushima. Diani nuclear plant, not just Daiichi. Because you got to remember, more than one nuclear power plant went under emergency, and pretty much most of them, I do believe, are still shut down. But the nuclear industry is fighting real hard to get them turned back on, of course. And another story: Fukushima worker, my shoes melted instantaneously when near reactor. Revealed during TEPCO affiliated forum. And and uh, yeah, Gunderson. I'm really concerned about the long-term health effects on people from northern Japan. Fukushima evacuation, worse than Chernobyl was. And, uh, yeah. Reporters not allowed to leave the bus during tour of Fukushima plant, even though in full-body contamination suits. CNN radiation readings stood at 1,000 microsieverts around reactors. And, uh... Mainichi melted nuclear fuel seems to be leaking out from reactor buildings. And uh, there's definitely a story there you need to read. And harmless xenon cloud is known to cause dramatic increase in lung cancer. Bombards humans with very powerful x-rays, turns into cesium. Xenon from Fukushima most over 2.5 times Chernobyl was. And the entire northern hemisphere is coated in this sh stuff. Uh, and that's about all they have to do tonight. <clears throat> so, enjoy what you can. Thanks for your support, everybody. Buckle up. <laughs>